just been our recruitment technology event. We've had some really, really great recruitment technology here. Loads of brilliant suppliers, plus an absolute talent of experts here talking about other recruitment issues. We've also had over 100 recruiters come through today to look at new technology, CRMs, innovative ideas for their businesses. It's been a really great day. I'm a recovering recruiter. It's been about 10 years since my last placement. I keep trying to get away and keep coming back to me. Um, I'd love to tell you what I do, but I haven't quite figured that out yet. I believe the modern recruitment company should do two things. Number one, take the phones out of their office. That's the first thing. Number two, get rid of the office. And certainly when I first started talking about sourcing, the definition was more, you know, the person that gets candidates into the process, uh, rather than the person that maybe would, would take them all the way through. But I think just in the last 18 months, two years, it's really started to evolve into more the person who finds and approaches passive talent rather than people that are active in the marketplace. And the real reason I'm here as an expert is because I'm old <laughs> and I've tried lots of stuff. And what I've seen is I've seen it work, I've seen it go badly wrong, I've seen sales guys come and go, I've seen contracts being written well and I've seen contracts being written badly. So thinking about when you message candidates and when you email them is really important. You can actually massively improve your productivity by doing everything you do right now, but just doing it in a different order. Productivity can be about timing of what you do. Still send your connection requests or your emails, let's do it in the morning. Mornings are your communication, your sales time. It's always exciting when you come down to this event where you get to see all of the different technologies that are available. Not just ourselves, but the different different areas of the marketplace which are starting to spruce up and sprout up. I think for me it's very much about coming to see a number of different providers and trying to um, understand what they do, what they what, what the differential um, I guess, parts of the products are, and see how applicable that is to our business. The elevator pitches were interesting, a good diverse mix of um, characters with some interesting software ideas. So typically it's, uh, it's kind of like the speed dating format where you sit down you've got 10 minutes till the whistle blows and I always find it's a good way to be able to see exactly how interested the prospects are and overall it's been fantastic throughout. I believe we sell three of the most sought after commodities in this very competitive recruitment marketplace. That is time, efficiency and facts. What tools do you have to overcome this? Well, the answer to both is true contextual searching. Three users or 3,000 users, we can service you. When I was running my own recruitment agency, I thought this was nuts and could be done much better. Particularly like the people who seem to understand what the recruiter's job is about and where the challenges that uh, recruiters actually face. Because as recruiters, when we look at software, we want it to enhance the process of how we recruit. Uh, rather than make it more difficult. So it's interesting to hear some of the people who seem to really apparently understand that, that real process and, and how they add value to it. Uh, we've done lots of product overviews, we've taken lots of business cards, and um, so yeah, we're hoping that the follow-up will be quite successful for us. But it's a really great way of being able to interact with potential customers, so it's been brilliant for us. I got a lot out of it last time in June, and this time equally as good. Um, and I think it's been a, a fantastic day for us and, and, and for myself. 